All right, friends, welcome back. And in this video, we are going to be talking about a tool that can rapidly pick up all your keyword golden ratio terms without having to do a lot of manual work. Now, those of you who are not familiar with this, I'm just going to take a second to talk about this. Uh, key, uh, KGR is keyword golden ratio. There's an article here on mangles.com. I'll include this in the uh, description box below that'll talk more about this. But essentially what this KGR topic is all about is keywords that are rated that are very easy in terms of low competition and a decent search volume, not necessarily zero, but it can include zero. These are excellent keywords to target when you're first starting to get a website off of the ground in order to gain some authority and some topical relevance. Everybody wants to obviously get ranked for high search volume keywords, but the problem with that is your site needs to have a lot of authority in order to do that. So what you want to do in order to get quick and rapid results to build up a website is to target these KGR uh, phrases. So the KGR is generally calculated based on this. It's the number of Google results that have the keyword phrase in the title divided by the monthly search volume where the search volume is less than 250. Okay. So generally there's not a lot of search inquiries for those topics. 250 is not nothing. And it's definitely something where you can make money with, um, but it's on the lower end and there is not a lot of competition. So the problem with this is a lot of people have tried to figure out ways to calculate uh, KGR and do it at a scale that's reasonable without having to do a lot of manual work. And that sucks. Uh, so, but there is a way to do this very quickly. and I'm gonna show you how to do this. But very quickly, uh, the idea here is to make sure that we calculate the KGRs that are a 0.25 or less, okay? Because those are gonna be the ones that are gonna give us the greatest results. Again, uh, there's a case study on this page. It's really, really good about what kind of results have been achieved by using uh, KGR uh, technique. It is a slightly older article. It is May 10th, 2019, but still very, very relevant. So what we're gonna do first and foremost is I'm gonna take you over to a tool here. This tool is called Yive Ranker. Now Yive Ranker has been around for a while. It is a bit of a Swiss army knife for a lot of different SEO functions. I'm not gonna get into all of these now, but you can see all this stuff that's going down the side. It can function very much on its own for something like keyword research, uh, grabbing all these KGRs, and also doing content analyzation, and also as an auto backlinking software for Web 2.0s and so forth. I've talked about this on another video, so make sure you check that out as well. But what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how this works to pull this KGR content and get a huge volume of the best keywords. So we go into the keyword campaign tool and we enter in a keyword and we can uh, select the limit. You can go to a very high number of keywords. This works on a credit based system. Uh, so you can get this monthly. Sometimes um, the owner offers huge packages of uh, credits that you can pre-purchase for cheap. You can also select the region that you want this to go into. So those of you who are not in the United States, obviously that's a big benefit. So 200 credits is not much. It's a relatively small amount to do uh, research on a keyword. I've already done the keyword research on this, but I wanted to just pick a keyword that we might, for example, want to develop a uh, affiliate website around. And in this uh, example, I used, for example, looking at warts, so using a wart removal cream or something like that, okay? So you enter in the keyword, I select the keyword limit. I chose a ton just for this demonstration, um, but I'm gonna hop over and I'm gonna show you what the inside looks like once you've done that. Okay, so once we've done the search and it took a good amount of credits to do this, I set the keyword limit at a thousand. Now, obviously this is a fantastic way to do research into seeing if uh, a niche is going to be good and it's going to have a lot of potential in terms of keywords. So as I selected that, we see that there's a number of things we've got here. We have the keyword, we have the status that just tells us if it actually ran it. Sometimes you get some errors, but it's really not a big deal. We have the volume of the keyword searches. We also have the keyword difficulty. This is a common feature amongst a lot of uh, softwares for keyword research. Gives us an idea of what the competition looks like depending on a number of different factors. We have all in title. Now this is important because it tells us how many 
of these uh, sites or competitors have this exact match in the title of their content, but also all in the URL. So if we have something like wart removal, how many, we've got 77,300 uh, competitors that have that exact match keyword phrase in their URL. So based on the combination of these factors, that's gonna give us a key KGR rating, right? So that keyword gold ratio, and that red obviously is very bad. That's not gonna be a great keyword to target, especially in the beginning, you're, there's no chance you're gonna rank for that. And then we have these green ones, which are much more likely. And you have to go through these things to see, obviously there's a lot of wart type stuff on here to see what could be valuable. So KGR uh, here we see, for example, there's a very hard in terms of keyword difficulty, but it does have a good uh, KGR. And usually when you see this, you have to do some further research on this wart on finger. What it basically means is there's not a lot of websites that will actually have that in the all in title and URL relative to the search volume. But it, a lot of the sites that are ranking for this are probably have a, ve a lot of domain authority and so forth. So it's not exactly going to be something we are going to target uh, with the KGR approach. But anyway, so as I scroll through here, I was absolutely blown away here by selecting uh, warts at the volume. The search volume is insane. There's so many searches on this. So uh, it would be a great one to sort through to see where the opportunities lie. So what I look for is all of the green ones that we're having down here. Now look at this, there's a lot of green ones that are in 4,200 search volume. There's 10 pages worth of this. So that's some insanity. There's a lot of potential keywords in this, uh, in this topic. So what we could do is as we go through there, if some of these fail, we go through and recalculate the KGR just to pick it up. You could also do an analyzation of the keyword that takes you to look at, for example, the domain authority, how many links and so forth uh, the top ranking sites have. It's just a really rapid way to go through this and to check and look at uh, some of these keywords to see uh, what the terrain looks like. So this tool really is fantastic because it's all in one place and you can get an idea of whether or not a market is even worth going into. So uh, I'm gonna export all of these and just for the purposes of the video, I'll stop it so you can see the output and what we get and what we're gonna do with that. But right away, we can see we have tons of KGR keywords, okay? So before we go uh, any further than that, we'll sort it all out. Okay, and so when we export everything, we're gonna get a list that pretty much looks like this. So we have all of that content, and of course, uh, it needs to be sorted here. So first thing foremost, the KGR, when it put, gets put into a spreadsheet, needs to be sorted. So all I did is I just formatted it to reduce it down to just a couple of decimals here. Okay, so we can essentially sort by column H, which I've done here, and that'll start us off with KGRs of 0.0, .0 and obviously those are uh, ones that are satisfying the below 0.25. So we can scroll through here and see how many KGRs, and if we're looking at this already, these KGRs right now are 0, 0.0, and look at the, so the search volume on these, 2,400, 4,700. This is pretty incredible. Um, definitely didn't expect that, because obviously the best KGRs that we're looking for were ones that are under 250 search volume. So there's certainly a lot of opportunity here. Obviously that has to be gone through specifically, but we're still at 0 0.01 right now and look at all that search volume. So there is a ton of stuff here uh, to go through. So again, everything under 0.25 is good to go. So we've got, as we keep going here, there's our 0.25s. Right there is about the top. So already if we go here, We've got about 460 keywords that satisfy uh, the KGR of 0.25 or less. So that is a lot of opportunity here, and that pulls all of that together without having to do a manual formula or creating an Excel spreadsheet where you have to manually edit all of that data. Okay, that's crazy. It takes a long time. So you can essentially grab all of those keywords, and this is where the content strategy comes in. And I'm gonna show you a tool here in a second that will help you sort this into clusters. One of the things that drives me nuts, if you're gonna actually write content on this stuff, 
is that you have to manually go through here and group the terms here, the keywords that are basically searching for the same thing. And that is extremely time consuming, especially if you have 450 keywords to sort through. So let me show you how to fix that. What we're gonna do is we are going to go over to a specific tool and this tool is called Keyword Cupid. So uh, I'll put a link to this, of course, below the video. But Keyword Cupid does a lot of cool things, but let's just restrict it to what we're talking about now. What you can do is you have to alter the spreadsheet that I just showed you. And then what we do is name the report. We can select where we got it from. It can take data directly from Ahrefs or SEMrush or something custom. And then we put our data in there. Let's say, for example, it's going to be um, a CSV file, keywords, or metrics. So again, this will walk you through exactly how to, how to format your report so that you can upload it. It'll also, you put in the amount of keywords that you want to update. So in that case, we would put, you know, 450, for example. And then you would upload it, upload the file. So what it'll be able to do for you is a couple of different things here. You could obviously do what calls SERP spy. You can add on some of these functions to get like the H2s and so forth. That's gonna depend upon what software you're already using, on-page optimization, how many keywords you need, et cetera. But I'll show you what this will actually produce for you. So what it's gonna do is it's going to give us, as an example, I didn't wanna run the wart one because I don't wanna burn a whole lot of credits for something I'm not gonna use, honestly but it's going to give you a report that looks like this. It's gonna take all those keywords, the 450, and it's going to batch them all together in content silos. This is an immense time saver. So in this case, for example, it'll have all the silos, it'll have big silos and small silos, and sometimes singles where, you know, keywords that just don't really fit together and they might be a little single entry. But this is gonna make your content writing extraordinarily easier. So now if we have, for example, a topic cluster here for juicing carrot recipes, which is the general uh, topic, we can just grab that primary keyword there and then all these associated keywords in the cluster. And then we can go into our writing process, whether you're manually writing this or you're using an AI content writer, something like, for example, I recommend ZimWriter you can go in there and drop in all of these keywords into the keyword entry box and the AI will use all of that information uh, to make this article and then you can knock out one of those topic clusters and go through all of those keyword batches and start to build authority on your website using low KGR keywords. Now, again, this is an amazing, amazing process that makes life super simple, and that will allow you to rapidly generate uh, website content with authority with a combination of using a tool like Yiveranker that will pull all of that low KGR content, you move it over to Keyword Cupid to batch it all together, and then you're ready to go to go and push it into content generation mode. So I hope this has been helpful here. Uh, using the KGR strategy is awesome. It's been immense for building websites really rapidly to gain topical authority. And make sure you grab on those two tools. I'll include a link below for Yivrinker. Make sure you grab that tool. And also for keyword Cupid, I'll include a link for that below. So I hope that's been helpful. Uh, make sure, as usual, to like, comment, and of course, subscribe to the channel. I want to thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.